Hello everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful summer and I'm really looking forward to seeing you on Tuesday morning. As you can see, I made a few changes this summer. I hope you like them. And I hope that you also had uh, a great summer and one you could relax and uh, do all sorts of things that were fun and inspiring for you. One of the things I did this summer was to think about the vision for the school, what we want the school to look like every day and what we want our school year to look like. I talked with some of you, some administrators, some department chairs and lay leaders, and this is something that I want to share with you and something we were going to discuss on Tuesday morning. As in any great modern Orthodox Jewish day school, our students learn math and English and Talmud, Chumash, Hebrew, and many other things. As teachers, however, we don't teach math, English, Talmud, Chumash, Hebrew, or other courses. We teach kids. We teach kids. This is a profound statement about schooling, and when we fully unpack this idea, it becomes a mission for us as teachers, administrators, and even support staff. Let's start from the end. We teach kids. There are many ways to learn information and gain knowledge in the world of 2015. Google gives us answers to almost every factual question we have, and plenty of opinion questions as well. Online courses are available at little cost and are easily accessible. Everyone has access to libraries of knowledge on their phones and unbelievable resources are at our fingertips. That is why schooling is no longer just about teaching courses and transmitting material. No. Great schooling is all about the children who come into our building every day. It is about taking young minds, small bodies, and budding personalities and working with them to bring out their potential. It means creating a relationship with them so that they learn in far greater ways than merely absorbing instructions in class, and so that they are motivated to learn, perform, and grow. It means identifying their areas of weakness and strengthening them, celebrating their areas of strength and developing them, caring for them when they have a fight with their best friend or just having a bad day, or motivating them when they seem to be dragging. It means believing that they can learn and finding the key to unlocking their potential. It means recognizing that they have interests and strengths outside of the classroom, and that these two can be transformative ways for them to learn and grow. It means understanding that religious commitment is not always easy for youngsters, and sensitively helping them connect more meaningfully. It means nurturing the religious and spiritual growth and helping them develop into Makadshe Shem Shamayim, young men and women whose behavior reflects the beauty of our tradition and whose actions glorify God's name. It means recognizing that our children have parents who love them, care for them, worry about them, and who want to be our partners in helping to raise them and educate them. It means always remembering that our jobs are first and foremost about the kids, and that their success is our success. We teach kids. What does teaching mean? Teaching in 2015 is not limited to creating dynamite lesson plans. It means engaging our students academically and meaningfully. It means helping them to grow in their ethics and their Judaism, in their knowledge of halacha, and in their interest in observing it. It means finding the sweet spot of challenge for each child so that every child learns every day. And it means raising the academic bar high enough so that we are all proud of their achievements. It means fostering critical thinking, encouraging excellent questions, and developing fundamental learning skills so that our students are prepared to deal with a world that changes extremely rapidly. It means guiding them towards personal responsibility with respect and kindness. It means engaging their minds, but also their hearts, their values, and their core Jewish identities. It means showing them models of behavior, religious and ethical, that helps to create mention. It means celebrating their academic and personal growth and motivating them to go even further. We teach kids. Who are we? We are a faculty that has a passionate growth mindset that believes that to teach properly, we must always be growing and learning. A faculty that believes that new resources, whether high tech or low tech, can provide us with fantastic opportunities to teach better, more efficiently, more actively, more effectively. A faculty that pursues our own growth through personal and collective professional development and a faculty that takes thoughtful risks in order to better engage our students and develop their minds and souls. A faculty that reflects actively on our own practice and inspires one another to become better teachers within a culture of mutual respect. A faculty that understands that when we work together as a team, we make each other stronger 
and we are far greater than the sum of our parts. A faculty that embraces the partnership with the parents in order to bring about the best outcomes for our kids. A faculty that brings joy and passion to our classroom every single day. A faculty that recognizes that we are the single greatest influence on the students in the school and we recognize just how sacred this task is. We are a school made up of caring, dedicated professionals who understand that more than anything else, we teach kids. I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday and talking much more about how we can build upon our strengths and embody a school in which everyone, from the teachers to the support staff to the parents and to the students themselves, share in our message that we teach kids. <laughs>